Whether you're using your MacBook to give a PowerPoint presentation or maybe watching Netflix or listening to Spotify on your Media Center PC, the ability to control either one of those devices with your iPhone is a really, really neat feature because it allows you to use one device to control everything. And it also allows you to ditch all those other devices. You can leave that laser pointer remote for your laptop behind. You don't have to use a mouse and keyboard for your PC. Everything can be done on your iPhone. And after ticking through a bunch of different apps on the App Store, the best one that I could find was Remote Mouse. And the free version of Remote Mouse is pretty much what the name says. It allows you to use your iPhone as a mouse on Windows or a Mac device. But if you do upgrade to the paid version for, I believe, $15, it gives you a whole host of different features. You have keyboard access, you can launch applications, you can even turn off your computer, all from the touch of a button on your iPhone. So let's jump in to the app and see exactly how it works with both a Mac as well as a Windows PC. Now, in order to use Remote Mouse, you will need to install the Remote Mouse server. This can be done online through remotemouse.net on your PC, or if you are using a Mac, you can go to the Mac App Store and install Remote Mouse from there. So once that is done and you have the server running, you can either do this at startup with your PC or open it when you please. That then allows you to connect to your computer with your iPhone. So when we go to the top of the app, these are the only computers that are on my network that I'm able to connect to. So that is the other thing. You do have to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the device you're trying to control. So that's perfect for home use or the office, but let's say you're in a public space or you're somewhere else where you might not be able to get on that same Wi-Fi connection, then it may be difficult to control your computer. So here we are in the actual application and at the top of the screen, you have this big black area and this is where you actually get to control your mouse. So it's pretty much just a trackpad that you can then move the mouse wherever you want on the screen with a tap of your finger and a nice swipe. That allows you to move the mouse anywhere on your computer. Now, you have a bunch of different other options. So this top toolbar in the middle of the screen uh, gives you the opportunity to use your media control. So this would be like play and pause for probably Spotify, Netflix, YouTube, anything that is going to be able to use media controls. You also get your application launcher and to see what applications are open. So this is perfect to see which application you're, you're running. Maybe you wanna bring one to the forefront, then you can do that here. We also have a, a web um, menu. So if we wanted to open one of our bookmarks, we have YouTube, Netflix, and Facebook. If I were to travel to Netflix, this now pops up on the screen, we open up Netflix. And if we go back to our media controls, if I had the X, we then close out of that window. So a lot of awesome ability to control different applications, open windows, close windows, all through your iPhone. So it's not just a mouse, it's not just a trackpad, you have a whole host of different uses for this computer. And then we also get, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the ability to turn off, restart, and log off of your computer. So we can do any of those things. If I were to hit the sleep button, it would ask me, are you sure you wanna put your computer to sleep? And then if I hit sleep, the computer would go to sleep. However, I am screen recording, so I wanna capture all of that. So with the screen recording complete, now if I were to hit the sleep button on the phone, hit sleep, the computer, as you can see, goes to sleep. So this is perfect if let's say you're watching a movie before bed, or you just wanna turn off the computer, but you don't wanna get up and put it to sleep or shut it down, then you can use remote mouse to do just that with a tap of the button. So now let's switch over to our MacBook. So in order to do this, we now have remote mouse server running on our Mac. So if I go to the top of our application, we get which device we're connecting to. So now I can connect to Josh's MacBook Pro, and now we're connected to the Mac, and we can do the exact same thing. Move the mouse around with our finger on the trackpad. But one of the big use cases I see for controlling your laptop is definitely going to be things like PowerPoints and other presentations. So with our PowerPoint open, there's a couple different ways we can now control our presentation while it's in full screen. We can either use our media controls and use fast forward and reverse as our controls to move ahead a slide and reverse back a slide, or we can use typical keyboard so we can use space to advance a slide and delete to go back. So to demonstrate this, we can use the fast forward button 
to advance a couple of slides. And we can even use then the delete button or the delete key to rewind a couple of slides. So it's super easy and pretty self-explanatory when it comes to using the remote mouse app. You have plenty of features. We only went through a few today, but there's a whole host of features. And once you do get super familiar with the app and you know a bunch of the shortcuts, there's a whole host of different ways you can take advantage of remote mouse to control all of your computers and all of your devices. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments about remote mouse or what I showed you in this video, definitely leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel. There's a lot of cool videos coming up soon.